I'm Rantasmo, and Gaze Needs More Gay. There's a concept in feminist film theory called male gaze. The idea being that because most films are made by heterosexual men, they are shot from the perspective of a straight man, and force that perspective on the audience. What I'm talking about here is fairly subtle and nuanced, but one of the more obvious elements of it is... So, cinematography such as this does sometimes serve a purpose beyond just titillating all the straight guys in the audience. Long, lingering pans over a woman's body, like this one from Austin Powers, are usually used to place the viewer in the role of a character who is attracted to them. In this case, a straight male, and that's not without value from a storytelling perspective. The way this shot is framed and edited tells us, oh, this must be our love interest and it helps to place us in the mindset of our main character, who happens to be something of a lech, to put it mildly. But here's the thing, we see this sort of thing a lot in movies, TV shows, and video games. And it almost always assumes a man in the role of gazer with a woman in the role of gay Z, which is not the name of a gay rapper. Yet. And in theory, this is disenfranchising for women, because not only does it reduce them to the role of object to be viewed rather than active viewer, it forces them, as well as gay men, to temporarily surrender their identity. Most movies, even those targeted to both men and women, and even some targeted to only women, tend to operate under the assumption that the viewer is a straight man. They essentially force the audience to look through a straight man's eyes. Basically the movie's like, hey, are you a straight woman or a gay man? Well, too bad. You're gonna look at some boobs now. And you're like, oh, oh, okay. I imagine that queer women might get a little something out of this arrangement. But the fact remains that most movies are shot from a straight male perspective and tailored to straight male desires. So when society is exposed to these images again and again, it's taught more and more to identify with the desires of straight men. Don't worry, I'm in no danger of switching teams here. My point is that oversaturation of the male gaze takes the standards of straight men, including but not limited to what types of sexuality and gender roles are normative, and upholds them above anyone else's. And that kinda sucks. So assuming the male gaze exists in film, is there ever a female gaze? Or for that matter, a gay male gaze? And I'd say yes, though we don't see it nearly as often. And when we do, it's usually, but not always, used in works made exclusively for those audiences. This shot from Pitch Perfect really stuck out for me. This was a movie directed by a gay man for a predominantly straight female and, let's face it, gay male audience, and you can tell. But it's worth noting that even though we often see sexualized men in media made by and for straight women, we also see a lot of them in media made by and for straight men. It might just be a way of throwing straight women and gay men in the audience a bone, so to speak. And there's for sure a bit of female gaze happening here. But in many cases, I think it's intended to empower men rather than objectify them. They act more as role models. Notice how these shots tend to be static and farther away, as opposed to slow, panning close-ups of body parts, a technique known as fragmentation. With the male shots, we see pretty much their whole body, and they're not so close to us that we might get the wrong idea. These are images of strength and power, and straight men get something different out of them than, say, I do. I touched on this a little back when I talked about Marky Mark. Yes, Marky Mark was highly sexualized to attract female audiences, but he was every bit as sexualized for the benefit of men who on some level wanted to be him, even if they didn't want to be on him. Even in media with a mixed demographic, the hot straight men are mainly there to help you identify with the hot straight men. So what's the solution? Should we be objectifying men more? Or should we be treating all characters more as active agents, rather than things that are nice to look at? And how do you do that while still appealing to a population that enjoys sex? Hell if I know. But I bet I'll figure it out if I look at more pictures of Chris Hemsworth. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely working. 